my channel so today i've decided to do a little bit of an end of week sunday reset a few months ago i think at the end of like december i've written out a few things that i want to incorporate into my life like little routines that i'd like to follow and this is one of them so this is my little end of week routine and I will aim to do it every Sunday and it actually works out pretty well because with my new job so far I don't work Saturdays or Sundays but it is it may change um so as of now I have Saturday and Sunday off it is currently Saturday and as I said I've just decided to tackle it today because it has to be tackled I will show you what the state of my room is in a few minutes although it is mildly embarrassing but I think the before and after will be worth it. I'll actually just read out what I have written down here in my little notion. What I'm planning to get done today is plan the next week, so from Monday onwards. Plan meals for the next week. That was done a few months ago, so I have like a general meal plan made up already. So I don't really have to do that. Body my room really, really badly has to be done. As I said, I'll show you in a few minutes, but it's it's gotten to a very, very bad state. I have done to wash my silk pillow, um, so I think I'll plan to wash my bed sheets once a month or once every two weeks and then definitely wash the pillow once a week like the main one that I sleep on like the silk one have a little self-care evening where I just relax you know just have the evening to myself dye my lashes I have a little lash dyeing kit and I haven't used it in a little while but I want to start doing it you know shape my eyebrows I'm so bad at it I just choose not to touch my eyebrows I don't even trust myself with them or really anyone I'm just scared that someone's gonna over pluck them and I'm so scared that I'll be left with the eyebrows. Um, I'll shape them a little bit. Uh, teeth whitening. I've kind of been doing it every day anyways because I bought the Crest whitening strips. So that's kind of like a daily treatment. I'm going to use one of my little bath bombs. What I'm going like, to take a nice bath and um, I'm going to use one of my face masks today. Just, you know, have a whole like self-care spa day after I clean and do all that important stuff first. So that's my rundown of it. If you want an in-depth look at my um, Notion plan, I'm not really great at using Notion yet, but I love it. I have a lot of things planned in it and I'm slowly working it out. If you want an in-depth look at it, let me know. I can show you a few of my things. So as I said, the state of my room is awful. So I think I'll start with taking my bed sheets off. I'm just gonna change them into plain white bed sheets. Gonna wash these and just generally change my whole bed sheets. And then I'll, I'll start tackling that massive pile of clothes over there. That's like, okay, that is the messiest part of my room. I'll take my bin out. I need to wash my desk. There's a bit of makeup on it. Um, and once I do that, I can get into like more nice relaxing stuff, like planning my week ahead. Um, actually, I have a fairly good system going in my Google Calendar, so I'll show you how I do that and how I plan my week ahead. Okay, so we've tackled one task out of I don't know how many, but the bed is made, um, the old sheets are in the wash, the clean ones are on, so it's time to tackle the big clothing pile that is a mixture of clothes that have been worn once but like aren't dirty enough for the wash but i think they're just gonna have to go to the wash because i'm not putting them back into my wardrobe and then there's also like clean clothes there so i'm gonna fold the clean clothes and put the rest in the wash that has been worn so my current tactic is just throwing everything onto my bed and going through it i'm like dreading this so much
honestly what I'm learning today is that I need to stop procrastinating because between me changing my bed sheets, clearing that massive pile that I've just been ignoring all week because I thought it was going to take me so long, it took me max 30 minutes between actually putting the laundry on, changing the bed sheet, folding and like putting away the clothes and stuff like that. Ugh, I just need to like stop procrastinating and just do stuff because yeah, this is just proof that it's not as bad as it seems. And I actually quite enjoy cleaning when I have the time to do it. So yeah. Uh, I'm gonna keep going. My desk needs a little bit of clearing and I kind of want to organize this area and that area and maybe fold a bit of this, but I'm not sure because I also want to drive down to Little because I'm really, really craving like a nice chicken burger. I don't know why. I think I just get seeing TikToks and Instagrams of people like making chicken burgers today and I am very badly craving one. So I will take a little trip to Little um, at some stage after I finish cleaning and I'm gonna get myself some chicken burgers and like burger buns and I think I like want a full full for now. I'm gonna be dealing with this mess. Right, so my desk is nice and clean. That is a lot more organized, although it doesn't really look it. I want these down as well. My desk is clean. I'm going to plan next week. I'll start off with planning it in Google Calendar, just so I have a general overview of what I need to do. And then I'll put it down on paper, just to have like something to glance down at day to day. So I don't have to pull up Google Calendar every day whenever I need to see what I need to do. Let's get started. Right, so this is an overview of this week just gone. I actually planned a few weeks ahead because because I already had the rota so I have a little bit of an idea of like what is definitely on but I have it divided into just like my general calendar, my work calendar, tasks, workout and it's all colour coded uh, and social media so work is in pink so I'm working 12 to 6 all of next week so that's put in as a definite and then I plan around it so I'm planning to film a night routine on Tuesday. I have cheer training on Mondays and Wednesdays. Monday I have tumbling class and intermediate stunting but actually next week uh, it is cancelled because Monday is a bank holiday. I won't have tumbling class so I'm just going to delete this event really quickly. So now I have time to maybe move the night routine to the Monday or plan a different event instead for example i think i might do pilates after work that day and i'm just going to change it to from my main calendar to a workout calendar so that changes colors in um and i'll plan to do it around seven because i finish work at six but i don't really get out of my workplace until about 20 past so pilates and I think I will um, do Pilates on the Tuesday as well. This is kind of what this looks like. I usually think I'm gonna go to the gym with my boyfriend. And then usually I go to the gym with my boyfriend at around half past six after I get off work. I'll put that down. I'll probably do like yoga in the mornings, but I'm not gonna write it down at a specific time. Actually, another thing I forgot. Another thing that I've done in my Google Calendar that helps me like stay organized is see this little like keep icon. I just take notes here and I have a few YouTube channels linked. I one labeled Pilates Princess and I have three YouTube channels linked uh, just for easy access for when I'm looking like for a Pilates workout and then I have Yoga Girly with three different yoga YouTube channels and at home workout videos. I kind of want to rename the titles since these are very cute and aesthetic and this one's just random but just a YouTube channel for at home workout videos. Just a handy thing that I have. Mm -hmm. Few things on the list are planned meals for the week which i already kind of have done as a general notion template that i just kind of made up for myself so if you want to see that let me know and i'll show it to you in a different video but i already kind of have it done so i'm not gonna you know set like specific meals to specific days someday i will do that and i will meal prep and stuff for the week but for now i'm not going to do that the rest that i've left on the list is self-care stuff so i will i think go to little now since i have the majority of the to-do list done and it's just uh basically having a relaxing evening is all i've left to do <music> Mini 
call because I need to wait for my car to defog anyways. I'm gonna lock the car. But I got what I was really craving all day today. Chicken burgers. Um yeah. I was hoping to get a smaller pack but they didn't have that, so yeah. Lettuce for the burgers. Um two rolls of baggies because uh dad asked me to get them. And burger buns. Little ginger shot. I'm gonna do that now actually. Got myself a smoothie. I think it was like on offer. Not sure if I got the right size or not. Got myself mushroom tortelloni. Um just because they're handy to have in, in the fridge to be honest. And I got myself some crispy fried onions to put in my burger. I'm so so excited. I've literally been craving a burger, like a chicken burger for the whole day. So yeah, I'm excited to go home and have it, but I currently can't see where I'm driving, so um, wait a few minutes. I'm gonna do my ginger shot now. It's very spicy, I had it the last day. Mm. It smells so fresh. I put on my little star lights in the bathroom and just made it very vibey. It's a good few hours later. I had the little chicken burger that I was craving. It was so, so good. And then I went for like a 30, 40 minute walk with my mom just to get some fresh air and exercise in. And now I think it is time to kind of shape my eyebrows and then I'll do my skincare afterwards, I think, because I had a little face mask while I was in the bath. So yeah, it's time, to, I think, to do my eyebrows. finished kind of just shaping my eyebrows a little bit and I'm going to use some Olaplex in my hair. I wash my hair every second day. Just run it through the ends of my hair. Next I'm going to pop straight into my skincare. So I'm going to start off with the Laneige uh, Cream Skin Toner. I'm just going to pop a bit on my hand and pop it onto my face. Next up I'll pop a little bit of Hyaluronic Acid. Um, it's the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid and B5 Serum, so I'll just pop a tiny bit on my hand and I just pop it on my face. Next, I'm just using my CeraVe Moisturizer. I just And the last thing I'm going to put on my face is a bit of the La Roche-Posay Epiclair Duo. Actually, no, the second last thing. After this, I'm going to put on a little bit of the Cicaplast B5, also La Roche-Posay. I think it repairs your skin barrier very, very well. So I'm just going to pop these two on. <laughs> Right, so this will conclude my um, little weekend reset video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. I feel like I've accomplished a lot today between cleaning and organising my room, finally. Um, and just generally taking a bit of time out to myself. Overall, I'm really happy with how today went. Um, so thank you so much for watching. I really, really hope you enjoyed watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I will see you next week with a new video.